Short description of um, what you'll be doing for your next assignment. You have lots and lots of choices. As I explained, uh, typically I give everyone a product assignment, so you still have that as a choice. Um, the goal in the product assignment <coughs> is to take an existing photograph. That's the best way to work. Use it as a template. <coughs> Build your illustrator illustration using that photograph as a guide and try to create something, I, don't know, it's, I won't say a simulation, sort of a stylized realistic interpretation. On my website, under um, samples of student work, the lipstick is a good example. There's also the game deck is another good one. <coughs> the old turntable is a good example of another one. The car, let me come back. <coughs> Where's the car? car, car. Here's the car. The car is also an excellent example. Of what can be done in Illustrator using gradient tools, using the gradient mesh tool in particular in many instances, as well as using the blend tool in order to create all those subtle tonal variations, which is basically what makes an object look realistic when you're drawing or painting it. Okay? So that's one option for you. <coughs> the other, though, and the handout is not ready, it will be ready this weekend is that it will be inspired by Simone Ligno or his Tokidoki. So if I look here under my archives, I should see, um, I don't remember where I put it. I'm going to go here and see if I have, let's see if we have, no, it's not there. So let me go back again, let me go back under my archives. I don't have that many articles, so. Maybe it would like put it under education. Not there either, so no. let's go back again. Um, how about computer records? Have anything like that. Oh yes, sir. there we go. It's the first one, Okie Doke. <coughs> so this was a little article that I wrote about. Simone, Simone Nenyo and his Tokidoki brand. This little video is available. When you click on it, it will be, it will play. Um, and if you click on additional ones, there are more videos available on YouTube. So you can get an idea, a feel for his style of illustration. You do not have to do his style of illustration, as I explained. It's only to be inspired by him. Um, but what the goal will be, instead of doing a product, it will be to do a design that will be applied on a product. A number of his designs are graphics that are applied on skateboard decks, on purses, on t-shirts. They're actually made into little models, as you saw, all sorts of stuff. Well, what I will give you in the handout <coughs> will be three different options. You'll be able to design a t-shirt, so I will give you a template of a little stylized t-shirt. You can use your own if you wish. If you don't like the male t-shirt, then you can do something different. That's fine. I will give you a, a template for a skateboard deck so that you can design your own skateboard deck. You also can do, I will have a template for a purse. Okay? That's probably the most complex because you have all the sides that you have to deal with. It's like designing a book, it's like designing a box of cereal. You have different sides that you have to contend with. Are they going to map all the way around nice and smoothly or are they going to be independent sides um, that really don't relate to one another? It will be up to you. Okay? So I encourage you, you know, to look at his work to get an idea of what is possible and is contemporary and is very popular. As I said, use it for inspiration. Um, if you have an account with Linda.com, when you click here, you should be able to go log in, type in Tokidoki, which is his brand, and Simone Lino's brand, and you'll watch, be able to watch again the videos that we watched today. Um, I don't know that I have it here. His style of illustration 
is very similar, and I thought I put a link in here too, Takashi Murakami. I also have an article in here on Murakami's work. I think Murakami's work is much superior, much, much superior. But for popular contemporary look, I think this is a great way to go. It's um, you know, great for inspiration. Okay? So that's what your next assignment will be. Um, if you do take the traditional approach for the product, concern is during the summer, only having one week to do one of these would be a challenge. Um, in order to make them really work, they need to be very precise. Um, you should have a pretty good understanding of perspective, or at least um, be able to follow the photograph carefully. But having said that, um, sometimes even when you follow a photograph carefully, um, oftentimes there is lens distortion, and typically what we accept in the real world, is, or in, not real world, what we accept in a photograph as being distorted, when you translate that into a drawing, we don't. The best example I can think of is that when you look at a photograph and you and I look at you and I you look whole, you look perfect, you look fine, and I take a photograph and say, wow, that looks just like you. Now, I don't, this is not true, but let's say you have a slight stigmatism or your eye is slightly off or your, your slight asymmetry, and everybody has asymmetry to their face, and you accept that in a photograph. As soon as you translate that into a drawing, it looks strange. It looks like, oh, you drew his eye wrong. You drew his mouth wrong because it's crooked. Well, that's the way my mouth is. It's crooked, you know. But when you look at the photograph, when you look at me, you just accept it. We're more accepting in photographs. So you do need to be careful when you translate that. When you work in photographs, you translate them into drawings that you take an objective, you know, step back, take an objective view, say, does it look okay? Um, it's best if you show it, you know, to your brother, sister, parents, grandma, and they, I, it's best if they have no art training at all because they'll be able to look at it and say, you know what, that's weird. His mouth looks weird. It's crooked. And you go, oh, okay. And then you go back and you fix it and you make it look more symmetrical. But whatever it is, we want to see sym symmetry when we look at people, especially if we do that. In products, because they are typically machine-made and are very precise, if, if perspective is off, if parts of the drawing are a little skew or jaggy or something, it, does, it no longer looks like the object itself. It looks like a... Uh, strange kind of approximation. So you do need to be really precise when you do something like this. Okay, And these are time consuming. So if, if that's the direction you want to go, be my guest. But remember, you only have a week, maybe at the top, it's a little over a week, week and a half. And then the final assignment will be an experimental piece. So you can kind of get, a, get by with doing that in a little bit less time. My recommendation, though, is to come back and what we're going to do instead will be to do the um, um, skateboard deck, the t-shirt, or um, what did I say? The purse. purse. The purse. Okay. Have I gone too quickly? Have I recovered everything? You've seen Simone's work style today. Um, for those of you who are going to be watching this video at home, weren't able to see this, you have to have an account with Linda.com to see all those videotapes um, of him working. What I will do next week, though, is I will show you some Linda videos again. It will only be available to those of you who are here to show you another style of building an illustration using the Pathfinder tool extensively to create very precise illustrations much quicker much quicker than the way Simone did. He was, he surprised me a little bit. The end result, which is all that matters, was really, really good. Um, but I think there's a little bit, you know, more efficient way that he probably could have been working. But who cares? He's successful, he does it his way, you know, so what? Okay. Okie dokie.
Okay. That's really pretty much it for today. And next week I'll probably lecture maybe once or twice. So what I'm on I'm on less than ten. So I have eleven, twelve, and then thirteen. And that will be it. Okay. You can turn that in, whatever, yeah. Just be aware that, you know, we don't have a whole lot of...